guys, happy Thanksgiving. I'm watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and Santa is literally like seconds away from being on screen, although you guys can't see it. Whoops. But there's Santa, right there. That's Santa, although you guys can see it. I can see it. Are you guys watching May the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on NBC? I am, and as per tradition, <laughs> I'm doing my makeup and watching Santa come in like I have for the last like five years. And I decided to film it this year for you guys. This is my Thanksgiving makeup look. It's lots of ambers and golds and warm tones and peaches. Just a nice, shimmery, warm Thanksgiving look. Very fall toned. And I hope you guys like it. I used a whole bunch of random things. I just kind of threw it together using all of my favorite coppery, ambery, gold colors and I hope you guys really like it uh, and I ended with a berry lip stain because I am going to be eating and I don't want the weird line around my lips so I used a lip stain this year it's just the Revlon just bitten lip stain in 005 crush so yeah I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and you have so much to be thankful for because I know I do starting of course with my lovely family which I'm gonna go down and eat with right now after I'm done watching Santa so I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving um, and God bless I'll see you guys really soon bye to start off, I'm going to use the Maybelline Barely Branded Color Tattoo from my lash lines to my brows just to prime and to add a nice shimmer base to this look. And then next, I'm going to use the shade Penny Lane from the outdated Vice One palette on my MAC 224, and I'm just going to blow that out through my crease and give it a nice wash of gold. I'm not using any matte shadows in this look whatsoever because it's the holidays and why not? We're going full on shimmer. Next, I'm going to use my In the Sun from MAC on the Vice One palette's brush, and I'm just going to put a concentration of a nice burnt amber shade in my crease. And then I'm going to deepen up my crease even more with the shade Muse from the Vice One palette on that same brush, just to add a little bit of that brown gold through my crease to define it. Since I'm not using a matte shade to define my crease, I did want to use some sort of a brown, darker brown, just to define my crease a little bit since I wasn't going to use a matte shade like I usually do. And now I'm using the Tarte Blush in Glisten. And then I'm going to top it with Trick from the Naked 3 palette just to get a nice peachy golden pop on the lids. And then I use the Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio in black just to line my upper lash lines. I didn't wing it out, I didn't make it too thick. It was just to add some definition along my upper lash line. It's a liquid liner. And then I'm using my favorite product right now. Like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, obsessed. And it's the Sonia Kasha Cream Bronzer in 42 Rich Bronze on my e.l.f. small stipple brush. Just to add a slight contour and bronze up my face a little bit. And then I used Wild Sunset from Estee Lauder on my cheeks just to stay in theme. And it's very, very pigmented and I went a little bit overkill. So I'm going to be grabbing my foundation brush here in a second and using whatever product is left on it just to blend that blush into my skin a little bit so it's not too much in your face blush. And then I just used my Revlon Bold Lacquer Black Mascara and I'm going to use Muse on my brush from Tarte that came with my gel liner. I'm just going to use Muse just to define my lower lash line a little bit. I'm not going too crazy. I just used Muse. I didn't even line my waterline. And then I'm going to, well actually off camera, I already did this. I did my NYX um, eyebrow pencil. It's the auto eyebrow pencil from NYX in the shade EP05 dark brown. And then I did my Revlon kissable balm stain I think. And it's in the shade Crush. And I, I don't actually know what it's called because the packaging has rubbed off completely. But I do believe it's the Revlon, the Revlon Kissable Balm Stain and the shade is Crush. Just because I'm going to be eating and I want my color to last on my lips and not give me a weird ring around my lips. And yeah, that's a completed look. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again very, very soon.